So, without further ado, may I call on Mr. Ivan Culling. He is the CEO of Merce Line to deliver his main presentation. If you can give him a warm round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, a warm welcome to this press conference. Just one hour ago, Merce Line signed a contract for 10 container vessels that will be the largest, the most energy efficient, and the most environmentally improved that the world have ever seen. They will have a capacity of carrying 18,000 containers. That is 2,500 containers more than any other container ship in the world, or 16%. We have signed the contract with the Daewoo Shipyard of Korea, one of the world's leading and most capable shipyards. The price of those ships are 190 million US dollars per ship. We have made a contract for 10, but we have also secured an option for additional 20 vessels. Should we decide to clear, declare all those options, which is not a decision we have made yet. In totality, that will become the greatest shipyard order ever, close to six billion US dollars. We call the new ships, the shares for triple E, three E's, standing for economies of scale, energy efficiency, environmentally improved. I will talk a bit more about all these E's, starting with economy of scale. We see that container shipping is back on its growth trajectory. We've been used in the past to growth ratios of close to 10% per annum, and we now expect going forward growth of at least 5 to 8% every year. So we will need more vessel capacity in the time to come. That's why one of the reasons that we have signed the contract for the Triple E vessels. But we have taken the opportunity to make them very large so we can really utilize the economy of scale. We get that not only through the size, the sheer size, but also some other uh, innovations that I will come back to. But all in all, what that leads to is that the efficiency, the cost of operating these ships will be 26% 20, less per container moved compared to similar large container vessels operating today. So by that, we will definitely be able to meet not only the requirements for capacity going forward, but also to meet it in the most cost-efficient manner. The second E is about energy efficiency. The triple E vessels will be able to operate with a fuel consumption which is 50% less than industry average, or 20% less than the best benchmark out there, which happens to be our own Emma Maersk. And you may ask, how, how have we been able to achieve such a significant improvement? I'll give you some of the headlines of that, but I can tell you we have really made use of all available technology and innovations that we could put into those ships. But first of all, we take advantage of that the vessels today operate at a speed of 19 knots instead of, in the past, 23 knots. That means that we can design the whole, the hull of the ship differently. Where in the past the hull were very V-shaped, now with these ships you will see a more U-shaped design enabling more containers to be loaded on board. Secondly, we equip all the ships with waste heat recovery systems. What, that, what those do to us is that we are able 
to utilize the heat of the steam and the exhaust from the engine to drive a generator. And that generator, again, provides energy back to the ship, enabling to propel it more forward and faster. We have more new innovations in the design, and my colleague, Sean Steen Nielsen, will in a short moment elaborate on those. The last E is about the environment. And we see that the environment is creeping up the agenda on all our customers' agenda, and also on the consumers, their customers' agenda. So we need to make sure that we are meeting the requirements not only of today, but also of the future. By 50% lower fuel consumption, we will also achieve 50% less emissions to the atmosphere by these ships. So we will set new standards for the industry far beyond what regulators imagine today. But we have also, or we are also with these ships, introducing a new and revolutionary principle which we call the cradle to cradle passport. What we achieve by that is really that we ensure already now at construction that the ship will be 100% recyclable when it retires hopefully not before 20 year, 25 years from now. How we do it is that we carefully lock all the materials that goes into the ship so we know exactly what grade of steel we have and where it is. And when we, after 25 years, have to recycle it, we can take these materials, components, put them together, reuse them, and actually not only in theory but in practical terms, we can build a new container ship out of the same materials. This is a completely new principle that we are introducing with those ships. If we take a step back and ask ourselves, what is container shipping all about? Container shipping enables producers to put their production all over the world wherever it's convenient and opportune for them. And from that, po that point, they can reach consumers wherever they are, enabled by the container shipping services we and the industry provides. The globalization that we have witnessed over the last many years could not have happened had we not had a very efficient container shipping industry. With the globalization and the strong global trade, the growth of that, we see that the global welfare, the global prosperity increase year by year, and by yet millions of people are taken out of poverty every year. But apart from that, we still need to make sure that we provide our services in the most responsible manner that we can. And we see that the triple E is really the way to do it. With the triple E, we are sure that we not only have the capacity to meet the demands of the trade and the market we serve, but we also do it cost efficiently and in the most environmentally conscious way. So when you take goods from the shelf in the supermarket, and most of those have probably arrived in a container, you can make, be sure that actually we, they have been delivered in the most sustainable fashion available. This tells you what a single company actually can do in terms of setting new standards, pushing the bar higher, higher than regulators at this point of time even imagine. So the triple E vessels will be a new standard for the industry and as merged line we are, of course, extremely happy to be able to introduce them to you today. You will not be able to see the vessels right now. They will be delivered in 2013 and 2014. But I'm sure at that point of time, we will be very interested in inviting you back to see them. But, so you get an idea exactly how the ships will be and how they will look. 
we have made a short film, which have not been shown before, but which we'll show here on the, on the main screen, so you get a first-hand impression of what we are talking about. I hope you will enjoy the film, and thank you very much for your attention. Maersk-Line's new Triple E class will be the world's largest ships, a record 400 meters long and 59 meters wide. Triple E stands for energy efficiency, environmental performance, and economies of scale. Environmental performance refers to the recyclability and reuse ensured by the cradle-to-cradle -cradle passport and the extremely low fuel consumption. Energy efficiency is partly derived from the unconventional hull design and the twin propulsion setup. Economies of scale can be attributed to the capacity of more than 18,000 containers, reducing the cost of moving a container by 20 to 30 percent compared to other vessels in the Asia-Europe trade. 